what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are starting season four of the last kingdom hopefully you guys have been enjoying the reactions on the channel man the last kingdom season three was definitely a masterpiece of cinema it was everything came together everything was done right there was no <laughs> weird superhero stuff that happened but they actually they actually covered up that plot hole right they actually covered up that plot hole the one thing that i had against um the show in season one where where it like um for the most part it stayed grounded as in in reality and not showing too much of too much supernatural stuff like you don't do it but they actually covered it covered up that plot hole in season three when they were talking about what Uhtred has accomplished is like it's it has to be the, the the gods are with you or the god was uh, that god was with you to see a man just burst through um a shield wall you know what i'm saying is it is it was the only thing i had a problem with because i was like uh okay that's <laughs> that's not practical and Nobody in the midst of battle is going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they explained it in season three very subtly to cover up that. It, it's not necessarily a, a plot hole, plot hole, because it wasn't like a plot thing. But it was like it was a part of the battle that I had a problem with, with just seeing Uhtred just jump over the shield wall and go kill um, the dude that killed um, Isolt, right? I, I don't remember his name. Um, but you guys know what I'm talking about, but they did cover that in season three. Um, I just forgot to mention it now that I'm actually thinking about it. I remembered that they actually said something that kind of caught it. like, it had to be God that was with you. You know what I'm saying? Who else? How else could you just jump over a shield wall? Right? So that was pretty cool, man. Um, that they just threw that out there because they probably, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm not the first person that talked about that in a review. So they probably saw that it was like, oh, we got to figure out some way to do <laughs> to cover that up. Because other than that, other than that, I mean, I don't see anything else in the story that was like very unorthodox or not staying grounded or unrealistic. We saw a lot of unrealistic stuff happen in Vikings. Um, it didn't bother me. But it does lower, um, it does lower my, um, my view on the season itself or the show. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't be showing a, a natural battle and including supernatural stuff in it because you're trying to tell a story, not from a supernatural perspective as in a superhero movie, but from a natural perspective, i.e. these are battles that could have possibly happened in real life. So you got to stay grounded. You have to stay grounded. Yes, you can say that, you know what I'm saying? You can say that in battle, you know what I'm saying? People not going to wait <laughs> and stuff like that. Everybody going to try to jump you and stuff like that. But I don't know how battles used to be back in the day. None of us really know. People just assume this is how it goes because it's cinema, right? But you can't really, you, if you look at it, right, from the perspective of, oh, this is how it used to be. You get what I'm saying? Then you, Then your whole thinking of the entire thing is going to change right your whole thinking of it is going to change because um you're not going to be fooled into thinking that oh this is how battles used to be which i don't think in its entirety they're doing a very good job of making it believable for my brain you get what i'm saying i gotta take it for what it is but when i see stuff that is unnatural as in not really pra practical that's what I'm talking about. Stuff that are not really practical for a human being to do during a massive battle. You get what I'm saying? So those are the things that I will take off points for. Because if you're trying to stay grounded, you're going to try to avoid those things from happening. This is not Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is more on the supernatural side. It's a mix of supernatural and natural. So it's like, yeah... There's a supernatural aspect to, you know, Vikings and Last Kingdom, but 
at the same time, it's not supernatural in a way that it affects the individual characters. It's supernatural as in religion is a very big deal. You get what I'm saying? But we all know God don't necessarily um, interfere that much that it, you, you get what I'm saying? They're not trying to, 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 to actually say that in the show. Like God is just interfering with everything. As far as I can see so far in this show, God or the gods are not in, in not really trying to affect the outcome of anything. To be honest, to be honest, when you look at it, it, it it's just like, okay, the God and the gods kind of cancel out each other in the context of the show. They really do because they're like, okay, they have their belief and they have their belief and they're acting you know what I'm saying? Look at all of this stuff that has been happening. Skade promised a victory for the Danes, right? She's she promised a victory for the Danes, and 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 none of it came through. Absolutely none of it came through, except for the fact. I mean, she saw, um, she saw Alfred dying on the battlefield. That's why I thought he was going to die on the battlefield, and he didn't die on the battlefield. He died. But then she changed it and was like, oh, because you didn't do what you had, what you were supposed to do, then it didn't happen. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like the God and the gods, they kind of just, you know what I'm saying? They cancel out each other in a way where they don't affect the plot of the show. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not really paying attention too much about the religious aspect. It's just that certain things, certain beliefs that they talk about and certain things that they do um according to their religion you know what i'm saying we can pay attention to that but in terms of the gods really trying to affect the outcome of stuff it doesn't really affect the plot that much for me to be like okay it's not it's not like vikings viking is a whole different story <laughs> you know um the supernatural aspect of uh, in vikings is a lot more um present you know what i mean so all right, let's do, let's hop into this. I will see you guys for the review. Bruh, I thought, I really did think that, I, I thought, like, this season was gonna maybe mellow out a little bit but you know what i'm saying like i always go into seasons of show especially after like two or three seasons i usually go in with very low expectancy why because shows usually drop off after three seasons they usually do i'm not go you, you can look at the history of most tv shows they either get canceled around this time whether it's i have a season one season two or usually around season four season five it's a make or break situation shows usually take a dip in ratings shows you it's it's either or either but for the most part there's usually a drop off when it comes on to interest writing things change comes on so i went in with little expectancy even though i know season three was nothing but perfection i still came in with low expectancy with low expectancy hype but low expectancy because i don't want to be disappointed or feel disappointed if there was a drop off you know what i'm saying i can be like okay there's a drop off this is just not going to be a 10 out of 10 season but the last kingdom they're not pulling any punches my guy when it comes on to writing it seems like they kept the same writers or whatsoever. I don't know if any, because it doesn't seem like they give credit to writers in the credits, because I've looked at the credits for multiple times, and I looked at the old thing, and don't see the writers, right? And they're still not doing that. I don't know why they're not doing that. Um, maybe it's because most of it is coming from the books. Maybe that's the reason why they don't give anybody credit for writing the show. But still, there's still, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of dialogue in the show that doesn't happen in the book. So they should give them, I don't know. You guys... You, you get what I'm saying. But in any case, the writers do an incre incredible job for the show. Season four started out with two banger episodes. You can't lie. You can't even, like, episode one, 
Bayaka again being the, the the star of episode one in my opinion. He had some of the best lines in the first episode. Of course, relationship between Ethelred and Uhtred that was also highlighted to let us know Ethelred still a bitch. But also there's this redemption arc going on with Elswit's character, which is I'm glad that people are telling her, hey, you were wrong. And she even is realizing that she was wrong. A lot of the decisions that she made, she put Edward in a position right now that he's he shouldn't have to be in. Why is it that you have to marry someone with money and influence and all of this other stuff to carry on a, a, a lot to secure? Life? It's so stupid to me. But in any case, it, it wasn't so uncommon back then is what people do to create alliances, even incestual things to make sure that a bloodline carries on. This is all stuff that used to go on back in the day, not stuff that I agree with, but I think right now the situation that elsewhere is in is i think they're trying to create a redemption arc for her and i'm all for it you know what i'm saying i'm all for it i always like characters who you know what i'm saying that has you know done plenty of wrong during the series and you want them it, but like the things that Elswit is doing is not things that are punishable by death you just hate decisions that she makes and she talks out of turn sometimes you just you know you just just shut up Every decision that she's tried to make, none of it ever came to any kind of thing that that. And then the thing about it is that she always like, what have I done to to um to deserve this punishment or you, you know what I'm saying? Like, what have I done? You're making all these decisions and then th saying, oh, I'm making these decisions based on, oh, these are godly decisions when you are making these decisions for yourself, you have free will. You're not making decisions because they're godly decisions. You get what I'm saying? When it has nothing to do with morality. It has nothing to do with morality. First and foremost, let me give you a let me give you a life lesson in general when it comes on to and that's this is the reason why I don't really talk religion and stuff like that because for me when it comes on to you know what I'm saying? Believing in a God. I do believe in a supreme being, right? But all this stuff that people try to add on, I disagree with it. Stop trying to add stuff to it. it there's no reason to, right? Right from wrong. It's plain and simple, man. Right and wrong. Two sides of the spectrum. You got to live on one side of it. It's as simple as that. Know right from wrong. Know that it is wrong to hate to hate a person. You can hate what they do, but you don't have no right to hate people. Right? And as I've said before, I've said in plenty of videos before, man, I love people. I'm going to love you regardless of you. I might hate what you do. I might hate what you represent. You get what I'm saying? I can hate what you do. I can hate if you're doing wrong things. I hate d the sin, if you want to call it that. I hate the sin. I, I don't hate the individual. I don't hate the person that has a beating heart. I don't hate the, the, the person, right? So when it comes down to people wanting to add stuff to this stuff, that's where I jump off the train because I'm like, no, you don't use religion as a justification to do wrong. You don't do it. You just can't do it. It doesn't it doesn't work like that. You don't use the Bible as a justification to do wrong. You just don't. You get what I'm saying? You can't you can't do things. You can't make a decision to do something and then say, "Oh, it's a godly decision." It doesn't work like that. If you did something that's wrong or you did something to satisfy to to in the realm of to, to create satisfac satisfaction for yourself. It is wrong. Period. It is wrong, man. So you can't, you, you can't jump now. Now that you're experiencing the consequences of your wrong actions, you're going to say, oh, what have I done? You self-loathing piece of crap. Conceitedness, man. Think about yourself. That's all you're thinking about when you made those decisions elsewhere. That's all you did. 
So all of this stuff that you're talking about, oh, Bayaka is bad because, oh, he chose a Dane woman. That's racism at his core right there. But you're going to justify, oh, God wouldn't want us to, to do this and God wouldn't want us to do that. And who are you to, 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 who are you to determine that? Right? In no way, shape, or form did God ever say you can't marry a person because they're this or because they're that or because they're... You get what I'm trying to say? Right? We all want to be godly. If, if, if you want to put it like that in the context of the show, we all want to be godly. We all want to... We, we all want to... You, you, you know what I mean? We all want to relate to something of higher power. Innately, as human beings, we want to. People deny it. You get what I'm saying? People deny it, and that's to each his own, in my opinion, when it comes to that stuff, to each his own. But I just hate when people do these specific things and then turn around and ask, why? accountability man accountability accountability is a huge thing that's missing especially even in the christian faith it's a huge thing that is missing when it comes on to people accountability is one of the first and foremost things that you got to take into consideration when it comes on to 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 finding your higher purpose in life accountability acknowledging that you've done something wrong and not blaming God for it. Especially when you're making decisions on the behalf of God. It doesn't work that way. You get what I'm saying? God doesn't need your help. That's, that's the thing that people don't understand, man. God don't need your help, homie. He don't. <laughs> but anyways, man, these two episodes were top tier. In any case... These episodes were top tier, man. Love them, love them, love them. Second episode, thank God it didn't kill Uhtred's son, because I, I would have been surprised if they did, but they didn't, so I appreciate that. Of course, I don't want to see him dead yet, because I want him to maybe carry on the legacy of the one and only Uhtred. But we'll see how things go. would be sad to just get introduced to, to Uhtred's son, and then he just dies. But, of course, they're introducing this new character, which is Elfer's son, um, which is claiming Bebenberg now. So, which is going to have to figure out a way because now they're trapped. Now they're basically trapped. So, how are they going to get out of this situation? I don't know. But, I guess it's yet to be seen. So, we get, we'll, we'll get to see that at some point. But, in any case, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, that's all I have to say. These episodes are really good great opening to a season and it looks like we're heading for another perfect season for the last kingdom anyways like the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys tomorrow for another couple of episodes of the last kingdom peace